Algebra 2 crumb, New York State Algebra 2 Regents, Common Core, Basic Graph of the Sine Function. Y equals A, the sine of B times X plus C plus D. Number 1. The absolute value of A, amplitude. The odds of someone doing exactly what you tell them to do is pretty slim, but I guarantee that if you cramp with me, you'll become an Algebra 2 master. What we're doing here is so effective, I'm coaching you to turn your wants or desires of getting A's or perfect test scores into a new paradigm, okay? I want to include everyone who needs a boost in Algebra 2. If I could stick every math student with a syringe containing a healthy dose of eye-opening awareness of their inner mathematical genius, I probably would. I know you have lots of peers, such as classmates or colleagues, who could really benefit from this cram session as well. So be sure to spread the word to them and order this complete cram session at memedicine at gmail.com. Just email me for pricing and ordering instructions, okay? And again, be sure to spread the word to your friends and classmates. They too can inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com to order this complete cram session. You'll want to do this because they're going to make great study buddies. The concept of cramming often has a negative connotation, but what people are actually thinking of is hurrying, which is the result of fear and is consequently destructive. We're not hurrying here, we're cramming, there's a difference. Hurrying is jam-packing tons of unorganized information into your mental, spiritual DNA over a tiny amount of um, elapsed time, whereas cramming is taking quantum leaps in your understanding in an organized way that seems to have occurred in an instant, all right? So let's delve into the concept of the amplitude of the sine graph. Transformations of trigonometric graphs. This is the general graph of y equals a, the sine of bx plus c plus d. Define the quantity, the absolute value of a, which is the amplitude. I'll give you a moment to think. All right, so um, amplitude, or the absolute value of A, is going to be the distance, or half the distance rather, from the maximum value to the minimum value, okay? So if you wanted to express this mathematically, A, excuse the lag time on this, have to get a better stylus and not use my finger. A equals one half. Um, well, we're going to do the absolute value, of course, of y max. So the, the largest y value. Minus y min. Again, so sorry for this lag time, but I think you get the drift of where I'm going here with this. And this could have been written neater, like all on one line. So yeah, A is going to be one half Y max minus Y min, hence the half extent here indicated by this line, okay? All right, so as you can see, intellectual comprehension of this material is not um, difficult. So after a short amount of time, after the short amount of time it takes to complete this entire cram session, you'll be prepared to answer a battery of questions about Algebra 2 concepts. So be sure to order the complete cram session by inboxing me at memedicine at gmail.com. All right. Okay.